What's up, people? Black Cobra here. Just wanted to give you a quick sneak peek inside the Sherman S. Now, I had... It's, it's been making this sound. People are saying it's this harmonic resonance, maybe. Uh, other people are saying, no, something's loose in there. You better check it out. So, I was nervous, decided it's time to break it down and check inside to see if something's loose, see what that sound is, where it's coming from, and whether it's going to cause me to fall. And I'm worried about that. So I brought it over to my buddy Jeremy's shop. We broke it down, jumped inside, and I wanted to take you along for the ride. Now, this is not a step-by-step -step teardown of the Sherman S. We, I did not go and show you every little thing, just so you know. It's just a quick short video with snippets. I just want you to see some of the things that we saw inside and see what's going on inside the Sherman S. Check it out. If you want a more in-depth teardown, you can go to EVs or In Motion Global or a couple other people that have done in-depth in teardowns. But for here, we I just want to show you what's going on and try and find out what's wrong. So I hope you enjoy it. Check it out. Let's go. Okay, now I'm here with the Sherman S making that noise that it makes, that vibration noise. I'm trying, we're gonna try and figure that out now. So let's see if you can hear it first. I'm not sure what the noise is, but we're gonna try and figure it out. Well, while I have it here, I'm gonna do a quick lift test. I don't think I've done it yet on it. It looked like 74.7 miles per hour. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna try to do the lift test again so maybe you can see it this time. It was either 74.7 or 70, 74 point something. So we have the top off of the Sherman S and we check the first thing, we're trying to see what that vibration noise is. The first thing is checking the board. The board is tight, it's very snug. There's no movement whatsoever. So that 16X King Song thing where the board was loose, I guess people were telling me about, this is definitely not that. So moving on. All right, so we're laughing because we hope we got it. Look, it's all apart, this is the Sherman S. And looking at this side over here, there's a gap. There's a gap here, and there's a gap here and here. And when you look on that side, it's all snug and tighter. So we're not sure if that's the reason, but we're thinking that this could be allowing it to, to vibrate. Um, maybe that's causing the vibration that we're hearing when the wheel's together. We're gonna tighten it up and hope that that was the problem. <laughs> we uh, Now we got the side off. We decided to go the other route and take it apart just to see what the bolts underneath are doing. And then watch this. Wait, don't hit the wood. Right? Yeah, you can hear, you can kind of hear the vibration even with nothing on it. You can definitely feel it. So I, I think it might be the actual motor itself. I don't know. It, there's nothing on the wheel at all except these pieces shocks are off everything and then if we just you, you can hear and feel like an internal vibration I, I, I'm gonna try to get you closer there you go And that's not moving the wheel. And then if you move the tire, you hear the vibration even more, but it's, it's more pronounced here because there's no tire sound. It's just the sound of that. I, just, I think it might be internal. So we got it completely apart, down to the motor and everything off, everything, everything, everything. And we, can, we can't see anything that's causing that sound uh it was still you could still hear it and we got it broken down so i don't know i don't know i guess it's in the motor and we're not taking the motor apart that's it we took this sherman s completely apart only thing we didn't do was break open the motor and the motor itself is what's making that noise
we can still hear it and but at least i know that the motor i mean the the board is not loose uh the batteries are not loose the even the brackets that i was looking at earlier that i thought that gap made a difference that doesn't make a difference because it's sort of like a handlebar so they were really tight on both sides it just one had a little bit more openness than the other but they were super secure so nothing is loose on this wheel absolutely at all the only problem whatever that noise is is in the motor thanks for checking it out so that's it <laughs> i'm still stumped it's obviously inside the motor because nothing was loose none of the things that i was hoping i could find so I guess this is one of those times I was hoping to find something so that I could figure it out and fix it. However, inside the motor, and I wasn't about to pull the motor apart, I wasn't feeling that bold, that adventurous. Um, so we'll see what the future holds and I still gotta figure out what this is and uh, I gotta hope that it's not dangerous and it's not gonna drop me. So that's it because I still love the Sherman S so much. And it's still one of the best built wheels to date. That and the V13 are amazingly built wheels. So let's uh, let's see what happens going here uh, forward. You know, um, I'll bring you along for the ride. I'll clue you in when I find out something. Until next time, this is your man, Black Cobra. See you in the next one. Doses. And I'm out.